Hey everyone, Mr. Robertson here. Today I want to talk to you about two important terms in the first unit of geography. The first term is environmental determinism. The second term is possibilism. Now I'm going to break down these terms for you and give you a couple examples to better help you understand how these two terms interact and are so important to people and their relationship with the physical earth. When we look at environmental determinism, if we were to drop a civilization anywhere on earth and they had to start from scratch, they would build buildings and products and everything they would ever make would be based off their surroundings, the natural occurring materials that were available to them. This is environmental determinism because the environment determines the culture, the environment determines the way of life. The environment determines how people interact with the earth. And that allows us to look at ancient civilizations that started in all different types of climates, from rainforests to deserts to islands to very cold areas in the Arctic. The environment determined the way the, these humans lived. As technology evolved, and humans began to move and be able to move very quickly around the earth, possibilism, in the very name of it, possibility, possible, became a reality. It became possible to have not naturally occurring materials show up in, in cultures. You could move materials from one culture to another, and that material affect the culture that it enters into. It's a reason why today in Dubai, in the middle of the desert, they can have an indoor ski resort. It's the reason why you can have imported products, imported stone, imported lumber to build buildings and furnish houses, uh, fabrics, all of these different things that would not be naturally occurring can exist because it's possible to move those products and materials from one place to another. Today, many would argue that environmental determinism existed prior and possibilism is now. And in many regards, it's almost a mesh of the two because where you live, the environment still has an effect on how you live your life from temperature to climate to all of these different things. But it is possible to bring in materials and possible to ha have your culture affected using other materials and products from other places on earth. And today you kind of have a mesh of the two. So I hope you understand better the two different terms, environmental determinism and possibilism and how they interact with each other. And we'll go over this more in class, but this video will help you understand before we talk about this lesson next class, kind of give you an idea going in what we'll be talking about. So thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in class.